أينما كنا أينما صرنا أينما صرنا قلنا لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله I work with Human Aid as a fundraising officer, one of the senior fundraising officers working in Ramadan, working on the Unity Convoy project and working on London to Paris and the Hajj ride. London to Paris uh, was an initiative set up by Al Ikhwan Cycling Club, AICC, um, and they essentially started it up in 2015. And they've done two full London to Paris events over three days. Uh, on previous years and they've done two 24-hour challenges as well for those who are a bit more Arr. London to Paris is iconic in the cycling community it's kind of like crossing the bridge of the water and then going from one uh, capital city in the Western world to another capital city in the Western world uh, and it's just challenging enough for you know newbies can do it it hurts but also even serious cyclists if they want to do it in 24 hours or something like this it's still a challenge. London to Paris is usually set up so that we can start fundraising. We like to change our cause and we also like to change the charities that we're working with. So this year we're working with Human Aid. We like to stay with 100% donation policy charities. So we know that every penny that the people that donate towards us gets to the people who need it the most. We have a mixture of brothers from all over England, north, south, east, west. And I think that's one of the beauties of cycling. It brings together different uh, different people of different backgrounds and different mentalities and all sorts. One of the uh, main goals of uh, London to Paris is to help unite and create a sense of brotherhood amongst the people who attend the cycling challenge. So at the end of it, you haven't just achieved this amazing goal, but you've achieved this amazing goal and you've got to know and grow a bond with a bunch of really special people. And it just helps everybody have a better experience in that sense also. So we've got brothers from the north, the south, the east and the west. <laughs> كلمة التوحيد كلمة التوحيد كلمة التوحيد كلمة التوحيد My name is Abu Dajanaz, also known as Imran. I'm 24 years old. I live in Wood Green, North London, and I work full time for Muslim Research Development Foundation in the fundraising department. I'm also part of Al Ikhwan Cycle Club. We organize several charity rides. Al Ikhwan specifically, alhamdulillah, we managed to organize several charity rides for various charities. Um, and London to Paris is one of our main events that we do every year. I've always enjoyed cycling as a child from riding a BMX to ride, riding a mountain bike. Um, and as I got older, I really wanted to just get around on a bike because it was much easier traveling in London. Um, so I bought a bike, just a cheap bike, and I started to cycle to the masjid um, and just around local area getting around. And that really got me into cycling. And then I managed to find out about a group of brothers who cycle regularly on the weekends. So I started to join them as a very amateur cyclist with a lot of uh, amateur equipment as well. But then I slowly got into it um, and started to buy slightly better gear um, and a slightly better bike and I really started to uh, enjoy long rides um, and I found loads of charity rides to get involved in as well which alhamdulillah I managed to uh, participate 
in quite a few. It's going to be an epic journey. I've seen some of the brothers do it in the past uh, two years, and I've always wanted to do it, and I've always been looking forward to it. Um, alhamdulillah, now being a part of Al Ikhwan Cycle Club, um, I've, I've managed to be an individual who's, alhamdulillah, being part of the organization uh, for something that's going to be, inshallah, a, a uh, incredible and uh, memorable journey, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we have a very mixed group of brothers, all ages, mashallah, probably some brothers from their 20s to about probably their 40s, mashallah. A different range of abilities as well, alhamdulillah. So it shows that anyone can really do it. Alhamdulillah, these brothers have trained hard and are looking forward to this trip as well, inshallah, and I believe they're ready as well, inshallah. <laughs> عمار أرض سنعلي البنود مضينا جنودا مضينا جنودا سنعلي البنود مضينا جنودا سنعلي البنود سنعلي البنود my name is Mohammed Jahangir Ahmed, but historically I've always been known as Jay or Jay Man Khan. It's just something that has followed me through the years. Uh, I work in Manchester in the city. I'm a, in, I'm, a, I'm a commercial insurance broker. It's generally a nine to five job there or thereabouts. I work with a good team, so I'm quite office based, quite a lethargic job. But in terms of myself, I'm quite an active person. I go to the gym regularly. And uh, in terms of long distance, this is going to be um, one of the biggest challenges that I've faced. I've got two kids. Um, I've got a, a 10 and an 8 year old, um, they're looking forward to uh, watching me so that will be uh, an achievement when they get to uh, see me as well. Uh, cycling is something that I started really 8 weeks ago, so I've only done 8 weeks preparation for this particular uh, event and um, I'm sure it'll be good, I, I like to think I'm quite a fit and active person so cycling should be second nature to me. The reason why I'm going to do the London to Paris, a couple of reasons really. One, I've decided at the end, beginning of the year I wanted to do a couple of charitable events. I'm quite active, I love a challenge and you know what more of a challenge is there than uh, London to Paris. I'd say my only concern is we're going to do three continuous days, you know a 60 miler, another 60 miler and approximately another 60 miler. I've done 60 miles in one hit before but doing it back to back I'm just hoping that my legs, my thighs, my calves, my heads, knees and toes can take it all the way. I'm looking forward to riding with a group of motivated, happy, smiley, good charitable people. I think it's going to be a sensation. The views are going to be amazing. Uh, I've been to Paris before, however, cycling to Paris, you know, the thought of cycling to Paris, that thought and ticking it off my list as well is a definite champion for me. <laughs> كلمة التوحيد كلمة التوحيد كلمة التوحيد كلمة التوحيد لا إله إلا الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Idris Mahmoud I'm 35 years old I'm a father of three beautiful girls and uh, I'm, I'm a South London native. I, I currently live in Kingston and um, I work as a database manager. Um, I used to work in the city uh, amongst various uh, companies. I found that uh, the lifestyle um, was not conducive to um, a healthy family life. Uh, I found myself compromising my dean as well. Um, so I decided uh, over the course of 10 years, slowly but surely, um, stepping away from uh, that lifestyle. I was in such a situation that uh, Alhamdulillah Allah made it easy for me to walk out of there. I actually quit my job to go to Hajj. Uh, I went to Hajj because I wasn't getting the leave. <laughs> um, um, but that was more important to me that, you know, I made dua, oh Allah, if they, if, if they grant me the leave, I will stay in this job. If they do not grant me the leave, I will leave this job and I will not think twice about it. I started cycling um, out of watching somebody else start cycling. It was, a, it was a journey for them and I found myself thinking that I could do that. Um, you know, uh, I started off, my workplace used to be a 40 minute bus journey um, and I realised I could do my journey in 20 minutes by bike. 
what I found was the, the, the freedom that it gave me um, was, I, I just found it exhilarating. Uh, I used to cycle through a park, um, Clapham Common, and that will always, whatever you do, going through greenery uh, on your daily commute just starts and ends your day perfectly. I've been cycling for long enough now and uh, my brother-in-law actually got me into it, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, a friend of mine did London to Paris a couple of years ago. He had nothing but good things to say about it. It actually got him into cycling. So I, I, it was always in the back of my mind uh, doing the London to Paris uh, bike ride. The most important thing uh, that I'm expecting from this ride uh, is uh, an increase in brotherhood. Um, it was one thing that I found in our, one of the previous bike rides, uh, especially when we went to Morocco. Uh, one of the brothers, um, he actually said that the whole reason why he wanted to do this was because one, he wanted to get closer to the Dean. So he thought, I'll take a, a chance on a bike ride as well. And uh, I, it's a similar for me, you know. Um, I, Alhamdulillah, I have good friends. Um, but, you know, it's, this, this is an opportunity for me to uh, to, to, to talk to brothers who I normally wouldn't talk to, I wouldn't get a chance to talk to, especially those who are interested in cycling. My biggest fear, um, not continuing to keep the brotherhood, uh, not continuing to fight, right, raise funds. So it's not the event itself, it's, it's, it's what it results in afterwards. Um, with regards to the event itself, um, uh, you know, accidents, tiredness, all these things, they happen. Uh, that's life, you know, uh, life isn't perfect, alhamdulillah, life is a struggle um, but as long as we struggle in the path of Allah, what more could you ask for? But I'm by no means a pro cyclist, I'm uh, an amateur, I don't push myself too hard. Uh, I've been continuing to cycle, also I've tried to lay off uh, the cakes a little bit. <laughs> um, I think uh, uh, saving a few pounds there will uh, definitely help me on the ride. Uh, but more importantly, I think just uh, talking to the brothers who will be taking part in the trek itself. Talking to them kind of increases your desire to take part, by, but, and I think that's is the most important thing, the psychological aspect of it. Um, as long as you feel that you are within, uh, you are amongst like-minded people, uh, people who, who want you to do well, uh, and who will be going through the exact same thing with you, is, an, is a moral boost, it's, a, it's an emotional boost. Um, and I think that is more valuable to me than thousands of miles in the, in the saddle. <laughs> London to Paris is a renowned challenge amongst the cycling community and as a cycling club, although we're trying to incorporate charitable acts and charitable events into our cycling club, we also wanted to you know, make something stand out, something that people, whether they're Muslim or not Muslim, are going to respect um, and say ultimately if we can do three days London to Paris, then this is something that even some professional or semi-pro uh, cycling clubs do within four days. So us doing it in three days just goes to show. We can train some people up, we can get them out there, they can enjoy it, they can beat it, and we can prove to the world that we're able to do this, and we're doing it for what? A great cause. So my name is Abdul Wahid, uh, also known as Don White. Um, I am part of the AICC Shura, um, which is a cycle club that's just set up for all the brothers uh, to enjoy charitable cycling uh, challenges, essentially. Um, we want to get people out there, we want to get people involved, and my role is started as just assisting, um, then it became media, then it became uh, pretty much every other job that's been done. Um, Alhamdulillah, so you know, when you get involved in small organizations, you tend to take a lot of different aspects of it. And at the moment, I've been helping with some of the main logistics for London to Paris 2017. And yeah, it's been really enjoyable. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the ability, and you know, Alhamdulillah, we just have to try and push our best and do our best. The Al Ikhwan Cycle Club, AICC, have Start, have been going now since 2015 with London to Paris. AICC have done London to Paris 2015, they did the 2016 with the majority of the group and a 24-hour one. Then 
in 20, early 27, sorry, late 2016 or early 2017, I can't remember which, they did another 24 hour London to Paris challenge with a smaller group of brothers. And now they've done the 2017 this year again. So it's been five London to Paris challenges. I have lost count of how much has been fundraised through that, but I know it's way over, you know, at least 150 to 200,000 pounds just through London to Paris in three years. The one of the things that I really like about cycling challenges is that you get a, a different mixture of people. And because people usually sign up as on their own or they sign up in twos or threes of a, of a friendship group, you find that you get a lot of people mixing that don't usually mix. This can be volatile, but with the, the first day or, you know, majority, it's usually within the first day, people find their grounds where they can you know, work together on. And that's what day one usually is about. As a cycling organization, this is what I look at. I look at how to bond the guys together, how to get them working as a team. And day one was really good. Uh, you know, everybody felt a sense of anticipation. Everyone was a little bit nervous because they'd never done anything like this before, you know, cycling 170 miles in three days. It's quite a, a serious challenge and the first day is the hardest day of cycling. So everybody was a bit anxious about uh, ditching the beacon, but the brothers performed in such a, such a way that it, as an organiser it really made things easy for me. Where are we right now? Top off, ditching the beacon. How does it feel to make it up? How does it feel? To make it up. Uh, successful. Alhamdulillah. Tell me man, where are we? We're in uh, Ditchling Beacon, top. How does it feel to have made it up? SubhanAllah, really difficult. It's the toughest thing I've done in my life. My, my life. It feels it's like it's really great after you're conquering the hilltop. It's, just, it's, a, it's a feeling I can't describe. Approaching Ditchling and you can see on some people's faces that they've had a difficult day's riding already. But the reward at the top is an epic piece of scenery and as they kind of huff and puff their way up panting you know pushing themselves they get to the top and they do look out and they just stand there and stare and they're just absolutely in awe of the the beauty of Allah's creation one of the best parts of getting to the top of Ditchling Beacon is knowing the downhill on the other side um, we did not have the speed camera flash us I would say near the end of the day, some of them weren't enjoying it as much, but that's what happens when you train or you don't train. You end up having the, uh, the cramps, you end up having the aches and the pains at the end of the day. But getting some food down everybody was a marking point in the day. You know, after Maghreb, after Rasha, they have their food and everyone just knocks out. And the feeling at the end of the day is how you know your day went. Everybody was relaxed, everyone was calm, everyone was happy. And they were all excited to be there, uh, especially for the cause. Day one is now complete. We have cycled uh, from London to Brighton, uh, which is the hardest section of the journey, actually. and. Now, this morning, we cycle from Brighton to New Haven, jump on a ferry, and then we have one of the most picturesque sections of the journey, which is traveling to Gournay or Bray. Uh, it's quite a flat little section, and around about 45 miles actually done in France. So, I'm looking forward to it personally. I've done it quite a few times, and I love it. We got to Brighton um, yesterday. Uh, it was very, very difficult. There was one climb called, uh, I think it was, uh, Ditchling, Ditchling, uh, Beacon. Ditchling Beacon. Uh, SubhanAllah, it was really, really tough grinding all the way up. But what kept me going was thinking about the cause. Uh, so was all I thought was, uh, I'm thinking for the, the Syrian people and uh, what the struggles they've gone through. So I kept, kept thinking about them and I told Allah that, you know, uh, help me. I'm doing this for a good cause, so help me get to the top. And uh, also, at the back of my mind, I was thinking, uh, I'm getting loads of donations, so if I walk up, it's a bit of a shame for me. 
so I kept pushing, pushing, pushing. Really, really difficult. But as soon as I got to the top, alhamdulillah, the feeling, feeling is uh, unexplainable. It's, it's, there's no words that can describe that feeling. Round up of day one, um, I got pushed with the fast group yesterday, alhamdulillah, which was a blessing and uh, maybe a little bit of a curse. <laughs> but alhamdulillah, we pushed and pushed and pushed. And next thing I know, um, we kind of, I think we did the journey a couple of, well, two hours quicker than the rest of the group. Um, I, the parts that I thought were going to be difficult were actually not so bad. Um, you know, I think just the, in your head, just having it kind of blow up in your mind um, just kind of slows you down, you know, it's, it's all in your mind. If you, but the thing is, yeah, um, I was expecting it to be horrible, um, but then it turned out that it wasn't actually so bad. So, Alhamdulillah, we, we persevered and we, we got there in the end. Um, good night's sleep, ready to go for uh, another day on the saddle and um, I'm glad I'm doing this, that's all I've got to say because I feel, I feel raring to go. I actually just want to have something to eat, I want to drink something because I'm, you know, I need some water. But apart from that, Alhamdulillah, get on the bike, let's go. Okay, so the first day coming from London to Paris, um, there was a little bit of a delay uh, as we left. However, as soon as we got out of uh, London, and originally it was quite busy in London with the traffic, the buses, as you'd expect in London. However, when we left, we hit the open road, it was phenomenal, we could pick up some speed, the weather was brilliant, you just looked around and I just took in the scenery because I'm not from uh, this part of the world, I'm from Manchester up north. The scenery was great, we were moving in formation and it was just an absolutely epic journey. We were waving at people saying thank you as we stopped at lights so or we took a break. People asked us what we were doing, we told them you know, we were going from London to Paris for charity and then there was eight other brothers that were going to Mecca so that was absolutely fantastic, an epic journey. Uh, there was. Um, a huge hill at the hill, everybody says it's a dangerous hill, be careful of it. However, I think I'm a very positive person. We got to the hill, um, got to the top with some of the brothers, with lots of encouragement, epic journey today. So day two, as the brothers wake up, you can hear floorboards creaking, but there aren't any floorboards. So then you realize that it's actually the brothers who are creaking. And you can see that everyone's a bit, ow, that hurt from yesterday, a bit sore. But you ha we have this sort of 10 mile slot between Brighton and New Haven where we're going to catch our ferry. And the, the trick is to get the brothers spinning their legs so they get the lactic acid out and that will help for the next section. So it sort of loosens their body up. So everyone is got this really long straight section and at the end of it is our ferry. Our ferry being more than just a boat, it's a symbol. You're leaving the UK, you're actually committed now. So watching everybody get on and seeing them ready to depart for the next stage, despite their pain, despite their you know, uh, difficulties, they're ready. Let's go, come on. The, the brothers are pushing each other they're, they've stoked each other up, they're, they're motivating each other and everyone is in this super excited state. Arrive in France and some of the brothers are, are like, oh, I've just woken up, I don't think I'm ready to cycle. Tough luck mate, get on your bike. Um, and we're off onto what's called the Avenue Vert. And the Avenue Vert is a disused railway line. 
So this disused railway line has then been uh, sealed over with tarmac and runs pretty much, I think it's about 80% of the, the way to our destination that day, which is Gournay on Bray. And it's ever so slightly uphill. So it does wear your legs down, but it's not really challenging unless you push yourself. So you can just sit there and mosey along and you'll be there at the end of the day, inshallah. But if you do give it a good, good push, then you, you will feel it, um, especially if the wind's against you. But halfway along Avenue Ver, obviously, we need to pray. The brothers literally just pulled over on the side and the Akama is called. People are helping each other do their wudu. Everyone prays together in Jama'at. And again, a reminder about the cause, the reason why we're here. A beneficial reminder that helps us rejuvenate our energy and reju rejuvenate our strength to face the next part of the journey. So after Salah, everyone's back out on the road, smashing it, really happy, really relaxed. But there's a sense of understanding of the difficulties that other people face around the world when it comes to, to traveling. And this is only day two. <laughs> Uh, beginning of day three, we're in Gournay on Bray. Uh, Alhamdulillah, it's a very nice hotel by the way. Um, we've all fed, watered, and ready for the day to go. Um, we could probably do it another hour's sleep, but um, body's feeling great. Body's feeling great, Alhamdulillah. Yesterday was a good day. Um, it wasn't physically demanding as the first day was but there was um, so that just allowed us an opportunity to kind of push ourselves so on the on the speeds we just literally went flat out so it was a bit tiring but alhamdulillah it wasn't painful like the first day was but you know yeah it was enjoyable in its own way so it's a different style um, yeah I enjoyed yesterday um, I think we st again we started off really early in the morning um, and then we went to the masjid and we uh, we had a breakfast and down to the ferry so all in all good variety good varied day uh, today alhamdulillah um, again looking forward to it just uh, just uh, a bit sad that it's the last day because uh, alhamdulillah I think we will build up uh, an amazing camaraderie um, but uh, inshallah we'll uh, we will persevere and we'll, we'll get to the end of this and inshallah we'll keep in touch as well and, but let's get this day done um, I think it's 70 miles so this is the longest stint that we're going to do uh, which is fitting so we're going to end up uh, not in the Champs Elysees unfortunately we're not we're not the Tour de France um, but if, where are we ended up in? Um, uh, Fort de Flanders, I believe that's it. Um, so inshallah, we'll have our own unique one. We'll, we'll put a plaque and a flag down, in the, you know, for us. But alhamdulillah, yeah, looking forward to it. There's only one word to describe how I feel right now. It's shattered, absolutely shattered. My legs are aching. Uh, day two was pretty easy. 
I mean, it wasn't that bad. Uh, day one was the worst, so day two was easy, just uh, small hills, uh, just uh, the French countryside, cycling through the French countryside. It was good, alhamdulillah. Um, day three, today, sort of looking forward to it. Just looking forward to get to the finish line, to be honest. Um, everyone here is tired. You know, the only problem is is lack of sleep. Uh, sleeping is very, very difficult here. Uh, you only get about four, four to five hours, alhamdulillah. But you know, I'm looking forward to getting to, to Paris. Oh, and another thing I need, want, like to add is that cycling with the brothers that are going on Hajj is it's a privilege and it's an honor. And seeing the struggles I'm going through, just how do you think about the struggles they will go through? Because they'll be cycling six weeks, 2,000 miles, all the way to Hajj to perform a pilgrimage. So, alhamdulillah. So day two was quite exciting. We actually got onto the ferry and we arrived on the land of France. The roads were a lot smoother. So as opposed to the usual potholes that are likely to feel, it was smoother. And there was a sense of, I don't know, I got some, a second lift in some energy. Uh, so we shot through uh, France. Uh, arrived at our hotel, there were several rolling hills, we were talking about ups and downs. As soon as we were coming down the hands, we were flying down in a, in a nice aerodynamic position. We arrived at the hotel, got some food, sitting down on a real bed was amazing. We sat down, you know, everybody was together, I think we were all talking, laughing, smiling, there was an energy in the room. Uh, and as soon as we finished eating, um, we all had a very, very good sleep on a soft bed, so that was sensational. Um, today, we're going to arrive in Paris. Ride there, I'm told, is a 70-mile ride, which isn't, which isn't as short. We're going to be cycling for perhaps between 7 and 10 hours, so it's important to eat properly, to drink properly and stay hydrated, um, and perhaps do a little stretch when, when we get off. But, and um, I'm just looking forward to taking a, a picture with the Eiffel Tower in the background. <laughs> So day three is obviously the final day of the actual cycling of London to Paris and it starts off in the beautiful French countryside. We come out of gournay en bray and we roll through all these different uh, villages, French villages uh, that are just, just picturesque. I mean, it's really just a pretty place to be. And slowly but surely, you notice that there's more villages, more, more, more. And while you're going through the fields, you notice the distance of the fields becomes less between the, the little villages and you get this kind of build-up, slow build-up of uh, urbanization, which you know you're leading into Paris. And we stopped in a masjid, uh, in, just in Paris, and the reception was phenomenal. We felt really welcomed. We felt, uh, you know, just an amazing sense of uh, international unity with the, the brothers who live in France, mashallah. And they were supporting our cause and they were helping us and they were looking after us. And it was just really, you know, a heartwarming experience. We are just on the outskirts of Paris. Uh, a couple of us overshot the meeting point, so we've just made this into a, a bodge job meeting point, which is just 
part of the ride. Um, it meant that we ended up going getting cream cakes and, and drinks from a, from a shop that we've randomly found, uh, which I'm not going to complain about. Got a few photos. But apart from that, yeah, everything's good. We're not too far from our destination for the majority of the people. Now, it'd be sad to see them go. It's been really, really good to, ride, to be riding with them. Uh, but I'm also looking forward to getting on with the next leg of the journey. So, as we left there, into the hustle and bustle of Paris. Now, obviously, we've gone through the hustle and bustle of London, but when you're going on to the Gare du Nord, which is the busiest roundabout in France, you do need your team to be tight. And, mashallah, the brothers were really well behaved. They, we stuck together like glue. They were listening, they were working together, and we achieved what was necessary, which was day three, we got from gournay en bray to Paris. And we stopped in this lovely little place where everybody lined up with the Eiffel Tower in the background. The media team got all happy with the shots that were coming out. And the final approach to our, our last destination where we were gonna meet the van, pack our bikes away and go for our meal. And the brothers were just relieved. I mean, three days, some of them have never cycled 60 miles in a day. And now they've done it three days in a row. And they just felt like they'd achieved something. And they had, they really had. Uh, you know, for, for me as an organizer, I was really impressed with their conduct. I was really happy with their conduct. And it made it all a very pleasurable experience. Obviously, people make mistakes, but at the end of the day, when you tell somebody what mistake they've made and they go and fix it, it's a beautiful thing to see. And journeys really change people. Journeys really make people. Journeys really help you develop as a person. And it's, it's, just, it's just something that we want to see from people. And it's one of the reasons why I enjoy um, helping out with Al Juan Cycle Club so much. <laughs> Finally, we have made it to Paris uh, after 170, 170 miles of cycling. Uh, feels good. Uh, quite huge achievement for me. I've never done this before. Um, one thing that kept me going is that one brother mentioned that the struggles that you're going through now is nowhere near to the struggles of those people that you're raising money for, i.e. the Syrian people. They're going through such turmoil and we've only gone through hardship for a little while. And an another thing is that these, the brothers that are going on Hajj, they're feeling the same way as we are, but they are, they are doing it for another five weeks and we, for us it's just only three days. Alhamdulillah, I feel great, uh, great achievement and uh, hopefully inshallah I'll want to do this again. Uh, what I feared the most uh, leading up to getting to Paris was that I thought I hadn't done enough training. I thought I hadn't done enough training because uh, there was obviously that break of Ramadan and during Ramadan all the focus was on Iman so I didn't get enough training. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, that fear has been relieved and now we're here 
uh, in uh, Paris. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I think it was quite. It wasn't that bad to be honest. The only hard part was London to Brighton. Zakla uh, khair to my mom, my dad, and my sisters for supporting me. Uh, they thought I was uh, quite crazy of cycling all the way to Paris. Even my extended family they thought I was crazy to go all the way and uh, cycle to Paris. But alhamdulillah, I made it, and I can't wait to can't, I can't wait to call you and speak to you then and tell you that I'm say uh, I arrived here safely. Well, what I'd like to say to the organisers, uh, big Zakla khair. Uh, it's been great, it's been organised, alhamdulillah. Yeah, I have, obviously there's been times where we've arrived at certain locations late, we haven't had enough sleep, but alhamdulillah, after all that, we kept, uh, we kept, um, alhamdulillah everything was great, I can't complain to be honest. It's me, Suleiman Saeed, signing off. Oh, I need to do it again. Take this, is me. <laughs> this is me, Suleiman Saeed. Ali Khwan Cycle Club, London to Paris 2017, signing off. I feel elated. I feel, I feel a lot of things. Um, but what I really feel is that while we were pounding the hitting on the tarmac, doing our miles, it gave, it gave me time to think and just look at the creation of Allah's power and how we are Alhamdulillah, it was an amazing feeling. I would recommend it to everybody. Um, and nobody can explain to you how it feels to be just in the emptiness with just your brothers before, in front of you and behind you, and you're just pounding the, the pedals and you're just going. You're, you know, your legs are screaming, but you keep on going. Uh, and the sense of achievement, uh, the happiness that you feel, Alhamdulillah, uh, is a bar now. It's an amazing feeling. Uh, I was afraid that. Alhamdulillah, even if I did get through this exercise, that um, I wouldn't be able to follow through going forward. But now that I'm here, Alhamdulillah, I think I learned enough on this lesson, on this trip, uh, to to make sure that this isn't a one-off and that it goes forward, and that I that I practice what I'm preaching essentially. Um, and inshallah, take it forward, spread the words and try and be more helpful to my Muslim brothers and sisters. Well, to Muslim, to brothers and sisters full stop. You know, doesn't, you know, to humanity. You know, there is no act that is too small, there's no act that is too big. You do your best and we, inshallah we'll go through. I think you are like uh, the administrators that nobody ever acknowledges. You have done an amazing job, mashallah. Through thick and thin, you have always turned up and special shout out to the support staff. You know, I call them support staff, but the fact is, without them, this trip would not have been possible. You know, to Brother Ismail, you know, who's driving around with all the luggage, to Brother Abdul Samad, who's behind the camera, to everybody, every single person. You know, mashallah, you. Without you guys, without you know, I mean, the organisers. I don't need to talk about them because everyone knows about them. But the people who haven't been mentioned, uh, I want special acknowledgement, acknowledgement for them because uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to do this. You know, we would be struggling. Uh, but with you guys, Alhamdulillah, we persevered. Okay, so we've had three days of absolutely fantastic, amazing emotions. They've been up, they've been down. We've cycled from London to Paris, day one. We're getting to know everybody, working hard, working out who fits in with there, whose personality fits. Day two was all about cycling fast, 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 hard. Day three was enjoying the scenery. We went through several amazing fields. It was just an amazing electric feeling getting here. Um, now that I've come here, really, really happy for a couple of reasons. A, I've cycled to Paris from London. That's 170 miles. Let me say that again. I cycled from London to Paris. That's 170 miles. That ticks that box. I've made some amazing connections with some of the people who I'm fairly sure that I'm going to know for a very, very long time. It's given me the appetite to want to do it again. It's given me the appetite to want to save and work with charity organising so much more. The gift of giving, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm just full of joy and, and happiness from seeing all the hard work that we've been doing. So one of the things I was thinking about and concerned about, if you can use that word, is is my body physically going to be able to cope with the amount of cycling? We're talking about 170 miles. I'm fairly new at cycling. I've been cycling for only eight weeks. 
mashallah, I'm very happy to say my body is more than capable. So that was one of my concerns. I've overcome that, mashallah, very happy. One of my highlights was just knowing the fact that I'm gonna cycle that length. And the biggest highlight for me, if I had to summarize one single thing, was meeting some of the brothers, the connections, the laughter, the joys, helping people, asking people for help. I feel like I've met some people and we've got a strong bond where we've come through some pain, some laughter, some tears. You know, that for me, you know, is, 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 is an absolute joy and pleasure. I will savor these emotions and I will remember it every time I see the Eiffel Tower in any picture, any film, any movie, any postcard. The memory I'm gonna have is just an electric adventure with the brothers. So a message to my family and a couple of things I always say, anything you want to do if you put your mind to it you can do it regardless how big how huge how epic it is you need to train you need to focus channel your mind you can achieve anything you want you may want to be a doctor you may want to be an astronaut you may want to be you know own a business anything you want to do planning preparation praying having good intentions planning planning you can achieve anything you want to achieve so that's the message i give to family and friends one of the things I'd like to do is, from the bottom of my heart, is say thank you for giving me the opportunity. You know, because if it wasn't for the opportunity, I would not be here. I've had an absolutely fantastic time. The organizers have been brilliant. We've had food. When we've come to a stop, there's not been any waiting. We've had water provided, there's not been any waiting. Whenever we've needed help, quite often I've said, can you have a look on my bike? Is it set up properly? They've been there. I've asked for a bit of a pep talk. I've been given a pep talk by one of the Amirs who's leading it. He said, you know, try this, try that. Maybe your bike's not set up. Have you tried this setting? Advice on how to set the bike up for the future. So I will definitely be changing a couple of things. So in terms of the organization, it's been an absolute pleasure to work with them. And I will be doing it again. Just give me the opportunity. That's all I ask. So this Go. is Jay Mankan signing off from London's Paris 2006. 17, see you again soon. So day one, London to Brighton, mashallah brothers, uh, were very excited. Um, myself, very excited to try to complete the first leg. Alhamdulillah, we completed it. It was a gruesome uh, and a very, very tough ride, uh, especially the last part. Alhamdulillah, brothers managed to complete it. Um, and so day two, New Haven to Diet. Um, brothers expected, like myself, first time doing London to Paris, expected a, uh, a slightly easy route, but, hadn't, but it was full of hills um, and feeling shattered, but joyful at the same time, um, and alhamdulillah, uh, feeling really really delighted to complete London to Paris 2017 my first time doing it alhamdulillah this year we had seriously we had brothers from all around the UK all types and different ranges of fitness um, and cyclists some brothers that just bought a bike three days ago subhanallah Allah, they bought a bike three days ago and they were on their bike during London to Paris 170 plus miles Allahu Akbar and they managed to complete every single mile uh, with the brothers. They didn't fall too back, and that was absolutely extraordinary. Wallahi, I was quite amazed at their uh, their ability to do complete that. Mashallah. So my name is Abdul Jana Imran. Uh, if you're thinking about signing up for London to Paris 2018, uh, don't think about it. Just sign up because there's a lot of reward. Inshallah. Not only will you be fundraising for an amazing cause but you'll be enjoying the brotherhood that we have here you'll be uh, able to reflect upon the creation of Allah um, Alhamdulillah, you know, we, we, we rode through lovely, quiet, scenic routes uh, where we were able to just stop, remind each other about the beauty uh, and creation of Allah Jalla um, and, and continue trying to remember Allah uh, and, and appreciating uh, his beauty and his creation. <laughs>